Trendy Hendy asks, Hey Phil, was the phone falling in Nine Inch Nails panning? Or was it a custom something in the game? Well, the scene Trendy is talking about is this falling phone sequence in the music video I did for my Nine Inch Nails only remix. See how there's a phone that looks like it's falling to the floor? Here, it's easier to see if we just look at that footage without all the crossfades. The reason this caught Trendy's attention is there's pretty much no such thing as a phone that can fall or move through the air in The Sims 2, the game I used to make this video. So how is it done? Well, in short, I used slowed down versions of some of the basic Sims phone handling movements, but I filmed them while wearing a custom skin I got from modthesims2.com that renders the character completely invisible. Have them talk on the phone or walk around with it in front of a green screen, and it's pretty much a disembodied telephone receiver. But because I caught some footage of it slowly moving, I was able to give the falling phone a more believable look than if I had just done this with a still picture of the phone. So all I needed then was a backdrop showing the appropriate falling speed I wanted to emulate. Then you bring in the cropped green screen phone footage, chroma key away the green screen, and voila, a falling phone. Notice the shadow of the phone that becomes visible as it gets close to the ground? For that, I just took another piece of green screen phone footage, and I laid it into the scene in Sony Vegas at an angle fairly consistent with the floor of the backdrop. Then chroma key to isolate the phone image, apply a brightness contrast effect with brightness turned all the way down, which of course turns the image black. Then add some Gaussian blur, make sure it lines up, there you go. The illusion is complete. So here's what the final shot looks like in context. Oh yeah, Toyota Tai!